Ciao dear hearts, hi I'm Kat, Katharina Giglio and uh, thanks for stopping by today and um, hanging out with me and uh, today we're going to be making a little pochette which is wallet in French, it's basically a little mixed media um, uh, portfolio I guess you would call it and uh, I use them to corral all my little sketches so we're gonna make that today but first I want to thank you all for your thumbs up your likes your shares oh my gosh all your shares thank you for sharing um, our channel with so many people and your comments I love interacting with you and talking to you guys I've made some great friends on YouTube and uh, you know who you are so we're gonna get to work on this right away so I'm going to start by giving a little traipse through my pochette or my mixed media portfolio if you prefer to use that. Um, and this is one I made a few years ago and this week I was I was gathering up some sketches that I had and I thought you know I need a new one so I thought I would make that uh, today and I thought well you might want to see how to make it. So, uh, so I started with an old book and then all my little sketches um, live in here. Um, I sketch all the time and I'll tell you more about that once we get started but it has this cute little pocket in here um, and it's got little papers and, and you know all kinds of little things that I do um, and then a little secret uh, place at the back too so it's kind of fun and uh, so I thought you might want to make one too to hide all your little sketches and keep them all tucked away it's a fun little project Okay, so first things first, you have to have an old book. This is uh, a 1932 grammar book, and um, we're going to just gut it. How many times have you seen me do this? So what I love about old books is that they, hope you can see that, they fall apart. They come away from the uh, spine, so they're really easy to take apart. And you don't want to cut it uh, too too far because if you do then you'll cut into the spine and we want to save the spine and not cut ourselves and I'm just using a box cutter you could use that and we're really filming today so you might hear some thunder because we've had a lot of uh, rainstorms so and we're hoping for rain we want rain we can definitely use rain so I like having, I doodle all the time and I like having something to put all my little doodles and drawings in. Um, part of the reason that I do it is when I'm feeling stuck in the studio, I pick up a pencil and, uh, or a pen or something and I, I start to uh, sketch and draw or paint or just do some doodling. and. Uh, I, I don't I don't call it a block I don't think of it as being a an art block I, I just it's energetically a place where I what I want to happen um, is not the same thing that my muse wants and so I just have to move past that so I just come in and start playing and, and goofing off and and drawing and so a lot of these sketches I'll use for other things and uh, so I just keep them all together so that I know where I can find them. And it's just, it's just fun having a little place for them to go. Okay, so we've got that all ready. And then what I loved about this little pochette was the uh, paper on the book. So basically I painted this and uh, covered it so you couldn't see the title. Um, and then um, just use that paper on here. But today I thought it would be really fun to uh, use some paper that I got in, in Italy. I just love this handmade paper. And what I really love about it, and I hope you can see this imperfection here on the paper. These are handmade papers and they were just dyeing them and then setting them out to buy. And I just loved it that they weren't all perfect. So, so we're gonna use this to cover and I thought it would be really fun to just do the edges like this. And, um, and kind of recreate this because I'd like to make a whole series of the little pochette. So basically I just want a little bit of an edge <clears throat> and I'm going to cut the paper. <clears throat> Before I did that though, I used gel matte medium. And by the way, all of the products that I use today, um, you can find on the comments. 
um, just below um, the video. So um, you can get this um, on Amazon if you want it. And it's a matte medium, so it's not shiny. Um, not, I'm not big on shiny stuff. So um, anyway, so we're just going to cut this down. I, I gel medium just the front. You could do the back as well, but I think that the front will be fine because it's going to get a lot of wear, the edge, and we're just going to reinforce the corners. So I'm going to cut that up. Um, and when you're doing this at home, you just want to measure where you want it to go. You want just a little bit of an edge because we're going to cover the inside. <clears throat> so it doesn't have to be super, you know, a super big edge, just a tiny bit. So we're just going to cut that up and we're going to use one for the back and we'll be right back. So I cut two pieces of paper that will just be my edges. And uh, I'm just trying to decide, uh, I'm going to use PVA glue, and I'm just trying to decide how much of the book I want to show. And uh, I think that's probably good. So, yeah, I think that's good. So what I'm going to do is glue the book piece first. So I'm just going to use a brush with PVA and I uh, want to be a little bit liberal with it. I want this thing to, to live for a while. So I'll put it this way. I think I like it like that. And I want to try to create just about the same amount on both sides. Hope you can see that. And yeah, that'll be perfect because we're going to cover the inside anyway. All right, so got that done. And now we'll do this and this. Get it all ready. And I'm just going to fold the edges in because that's the way I like it. You can do it a number of ways. You could cut it. There's all different kinds of things you can do. I just love this paper. It's so yummy and, um, and it had such a, so many great you know, colors in it. Very subtle, but very pretty too. Okay, so we got one done and we're gonna do the next one. Okay, so I did the same thing front and back and I just ignored the embossed uh, title on here. I'm not even gonna worry about that. It doesn't matter to me. Um, so that the front and uh, the front and the back match, and um, now I'm going to cover the inside. And I just cut a piece of paper so that it would fit perfectly to cover it up, and I'm going to glue that into place. Way. you can make these as large as you want. You can put all kinds of things in them to just make uh, wonderful little portfolios. Um, and what I want to now create is the little pocket that was inside. And um, if you remember inside here, this tiny little pocket, and I hope you can kind of see that, and it has all these little tiny um, bits in there. I'm just notorious for scribbling and, and 
and uh, coloring on little tiny pieces of paper. <laughs> so in this one, I've already got papers cut up to fit, um, and then I can just go and open this up and just start sketching away. So I'm just gonna make this little packet super simple. Basically, you're taking another sheet of paper and you're just gonna fold it in half and then just give it a little edge here and on this side. Okay, so now you've got something to glue the, the edges to. So we're gonna fold it up and I decided to give it a little a nicer finished edge and a little bit of a top. Okay, so you're gonna leave that space. So fold it not quite in half and then just fold this edge over. So really simple. Um, super simple and then this will have a little edge and I'm going to fold that and glue it. So very simple pocket. Now you could just get a plain old envelope and put it in here and that would be fine too but you know how I am. I like to create things <laughs> so just had to do that and I love how this edge shows here and um, this exactly the side I wanted on is over here. So we're just going to glue the edges here, 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 and here and then we're going to glue it in. And I'm not gonna glue the whole thing down because I'm just gonna glue the edges. And the reason for that is so that you have this secret little pocket back here to hide little tiny fun things. my envelope glued and now I'm going to glue it into my book. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, I'm real happy because I don't have to water today because <laughs> the garden will need watering. Okay so I'm just gluing the edge down which is really fun making a little secret place. And I'm going to put this in here, and I love the way the marbling shows up on this. It matches really well. Try to get it as centered as I can. Okay, and I'm going to push it down. And then the inside, okay, before it gets too completely dry, I'm going to stick my finger in there and keep pushing down on the sides because I want to give it a skosh of room. And that's just going to pull up slightly on the glue, um, but it's going to still stay glued. Okay, the same thing with the back, just slightly. Because you want to put stuff in there, so you want to give it a little, you want it to have a little bit of give. Okay, great. Okay, so I've got these really cute stickers in France, and so I thought I would put one here. And it has old glue on it, but I don't know how well that will really hold. So I'm just using a little bit of PVA on here too. Oops, and uh, curses. Oh, it's gonna be a big flash and lightning in a minute. <laughs> and I thought I would just put it right there. There we go. And then I can write doodling or sketches or something on there. But I thought it would look really cool. Alrighty then, we're just coming right along. And then if you remember on this pochette, I had um, used this ribbon um, and this is actually a button. And um, I know you're thinking, okay, how did she do that? Cause it's a button. Well, I just simply, I found this button. I really liked it and thought it would be really cute on the on the ribbon. Ooh, yikes! <laughs> 
Um, and so all I did was I took these uh, wire cutters and I just broke off the backing and uh, just to make it flat just cut that part off because sometimes buttons are just so cool and so great to use and I didn't want to sew it. I wanted this whole thing yikes! <laughs> I wanted this whole thing to be <laughs> um, just to be glued so that if you didn't like stitching, if you didn't like gluing, then um, then this would be the perfect project for you. And then I just found a couple of pieces of, this is a collage piece that I had done some time ago. And um, this is just a little piece of paper in a blue color. And so I'm just going to attach that to my ribbon. And I'm still using the PVA. You don't have to use anything stronger than that. Okay, so on my ribbon. And I'm just going to tie this together. There we go. We'll turn it this way so you can see it a little bit better. And, and I'm going to put it on the button too. Now if you find that your button is really heavy, you might want to use E6000 or something on it. But this should be able to hold it really well. Oops. Finished. I'm going to let this dry and then I've got uh, some sketches to put in there and I've already pre-cut a bunch of scrap paper, all different kinds. Uh, and uh, one of the things that helps me um, to unwind and kind of get unstuck is to just take different kinds of papers and then experiment, well, what would my Inktense pencils do on this paper? or What would this do? And then it's just, there's no agenda, you're just having fun and you just open to the flow. Well, I had fun making this today with you, and I hope you have fun making one. I'm going to enjoy filling it. And um, if you um, create one, tag me on Facebook or Instagram. I can't wait to see what you make. Um, I just love seeing all your creations. And uh, we're at Chow for now. So until next time. Ciao, dear hearts. Hi, I'm Kat, Katharina Giglio. Um, and uh, today, Go ahead.